Hello, I'm Alan with ATMGurus.com. Today we're going to talk about installing your EMV kit in your 9600 ATM. Let's look at the parts that are in that kit. A cable, two braided ground straps, four screws, a standoff, a threaded insert with the screw, tools needed are two number two Phillips screwdrivers, a 7 16 open end wrench, a pair of small needle nose pliers, and an ESD wrist strap. First, we log on to the EEPROM menu on your ATM. To do that, power on the ATM. Tap on the number one key. Enter in your six digit EEPROM access code. Select download. Now you're ready to load your software. Open your Tricom for Windows program. Verify you have version 2.1.22 or newer. Select settings. Verify the port that you have your data cable connected to is selected. Select your drive where your program file resides. Select your file, and it should populate under file name and path. Select save. 
and load. Once your software load is complete, reboot your ATM. Once your ATM has rebooted, log on to your main menu, select Configure Terminal, select More, select More again, View Modify Options, plug in Management, and select Direct. Now you're waiting to load your plugins. Open your Tricom for Windows, select File Management in the top left hand corner, Com Settings, verify that direct connection is selected, and select your COM port that your data cable is connected to. Your baud rate is locked in at 57,600 and select Open Port. Select Command. The box at the top of the screen should be green and select your file. Select your application file and select Load. Once your application file is loaded, select your EMV kernel and load file. Once your EMV kernel is loaded, select end session and reboot your ATM. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you have any problems, you can always call us at Triton Tech Support.